A number of months ago, I tested the Randonautica app, which many people claim has taken them to some terrifying places. They confirmed the presence of human remains in the trash bag stuffed inside the suitcase. The premise of this app is to set an intention within your mind for something you would like to find. It will then provide you with some randomly generated geolocation coordinates for you to visit. I set my own intention to find a haunted place. The outcome? was discovering this. Known as the Tikal Ruins, this was a family home built in the mid-1800s. Although this location isn't known to be haunted, we decided to conduct a paranormal investigation regardless. One of the most compelling moments of this investigation happened after I asked for a cup of tea. Mum? That's the first female voice I've heard as well. I heard it say mum. Could this ruin be haunted by family members who once occupied it? Tonight, we return to find out. Thank you so much for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Tonight, Jared and I are out investigating a ruined former house. And we have actually been here before on my channel. You guys have seen this before. Basically, a couple of months ago, we were messing around with the Randonautica app for we looking for somewhere haunted. And it pretty much led us to come out and find this place. And now during our first investigation here, we actually received a rather compelling piece of like evidence that has drawn us back. And that is why we're here to kind of continue our work on investigating this place. But there's a couple of other things going on as well. This is such a special episode. You guys know why? Because today is my birthday. So you guys are watching this on my birthday. What I've been telling people this year is I would love um, as a present to me, which sounds really bad, but if anyone out there is able to kind of like donate to a mental health charity of your choice, that is all I am asking for. And for anyone who isn't in a position to donate money, because I know that last year was pretty rough and start of this year has been a little bit rocky too, maybe just call, reach out to, send a nice message to a friend, someone that you haven't seen in a long time, maybe it's a, a relative as well, or even just like leave a nice positive message on someone's Instagram post or like a YouTube video such as this one, but like anybody's. So let's be positive. Yeah, be yeah. positive. And I think it's like not a lot of people out there, you know, people are suffering. So mental illness is something that like people don't typically see. And I don't think that a lot of people, I don't really speak openly about it on my channel, but I've had a lot of my own mental health issues over the past few years, mainly with anxiety and depression. So that's just something that I felt like I wanted to do for my birthday this year. But moving on, we also have something we have a else surprise that's... for you. Yes, for you guys. Now, and it's, it also feels kind of like nice to do it here at this place because when we first kind of released to the public our ghost tube sls app we kind of announced it right here at this room didn't we yeah we did yeah this and is the first time we used it yeah yeah we're kind of like building on that and adding on to ghost tube sls with a kick ass new feature like this thing is so cool you guys are gonna love it so we've been playing with some new technology which is present in the newer iphone so iphone 12 pro and pro max, 12 pro max. iphone x and but later. also yep. some other iPhones support it to like some extent as well. Mm -hmm. The new technology, I guess it's not new, but it's um it's called LiDAR. It's new to phones and basically it stands for uh, oh, what is light, it dete light, light detection, detection and, and ranging, range. Or yeah. and ranging, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That basically means that your phone emits a tiny, tiny little laser lights. I guess, are they lasers? Or it's a laser grid, yeah. Infrared yeah. light. Infrared, infrared light. light. And uses those lasers to detect depth, much in the same way that traditional Connect SLS cameras. Actually, the exact same way that they The exact same detect. way. So yeah. you even see if you're using a, an infrared camera, you can actually see the little dot mm. you know, projecting over us. And the augmented reality software that we have already been like utilising to detect bodies already uses LiDAR, but we've kind of like taken it to the next level mm. where you can kind of see the depth in like special filters and stuff. So we'll be demonstrating that tonight and showing you guys that. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, but we have our first experiment that we need to get into, which I think is like going to be fun and kind of nice for us. So let's go do that. <laughs> Jared and I have just picked up and moved into the room where I want to start our first experiment. And this experiment kind of relates to our last investigation here at this house. Basically, what we were doing was just conducting a spirit box 
standing here. And I think that we got a couple of words through, but there was only one that really, really stood out to me as being relevant and just like, wow. Basically, I was thinking to myself, oh, okay, so I've come into someone's family home. We are in Australia. What do you do when you go into someone's home? Like, or what does the guest generally do for, or the, the, the host generally do for the guest? If someone came into my home, I'd be like, do you want a cup of tea? Right? So I asked the spirit, is there somebody here that can make me a cup of tea or something along those lines? And we got a response through the spirit box that the, it, and it said, mum. Is there someone here that can make me a cup of tea? Mum? That's the first female voice I've heard as well. I heard it say mum. And to me, that just seems relevant maybe to my family home because my mum is a huge tea drinker. I have slowly become a huge tea drinker over the past couple of years, <laughs> but I love it. And ever since then, I really felt like we have to come back and we have to bring these spirits, if there are any here, some tea. So Jared and I have done exactly that tonight. What is that? It sounds like um, it sounds like fireworks, but there's no fireworks in the sky. Does it sound like fireworks? It sort of sounds like metal sheets, like wobbling. That's random. <laughs> you, know, you know, I don't know. I know what you mean. You know how on the stage they make fake thunder with it? Yeah. When people are doing like drums. I know what you mean, but fireworks seems more plausible. Because <laughs> we're Actually, like, no, there's yeah. a main road over there, but we're not there is, really but there's near, no houses near, there. near there. anything. That's all, that's all um, scrub. Yeah. But there it is again. All right, Jared, what are you doing? Getting our thermos. Thermos? That was cool. Thermal thing, <laughs> flask. So this is pre-made tea, right? Because we couldn't bring like a kettle with us, could we? Nah, I made it. It's my favorite flavor at the moment. You're so cute. <laughs> Leave some in there for the ghost as well. Oh yeah, hang on. There it goes, I don't need that much. All right, ghost can have the rest. There you go. Oh. Cheers. <laughs> All right guys, so currently I am filming in the ghost tube SLS and this is using the special true depth kind of LiDAR filter. So this is the laser beams shining out at my face and kind of detecting me. Just behind me, you can see this flashy thing here. That is actually the tea bottle that we're leaving out for the ghost and then Jared and I are gonna be sitting just over here and having a cuppa and seeing if we can get any activity kind of going. So I'm just going to take a seat next to him. I'll leave this space. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you for my tea. Cheers. Mm. This is my favorite flavor at the moment. Mm. It's peppermint and spearmint tea. Yum. All right, I'll hold this. Because I also bought some Bickies. Yeah. <laughs> And they're Scotch Finger Biscuits, so leave a comment if anyone knows what they are. And I think biscuits mean something different in America entirely. You mean cookies in America? Cookies. Cookies. Are these a cookie though? Yeah. I always cookies. say cookies are like those round things, but oh my God, I can't even open this bag yet. You're going to leave one for the uh, Yeah, that's cute. Let's that. So that is a biscuit. That is a scotch finger biscuit. <laughs> Just uh, leaving you a biscuit here with your tea. Are you gonna dunk that? Mm -mm. Yeah, why not? You only live once. Are you a dunker? Let us know in the comments below. I don't like dunking, because I don't like going to the end of my tea and there's little soggy <laughs> in there. No <laughs> soggy biscuit, sorry. Oh, okay. My name is Amy and I've come here with Jared. We've bought you some tea and a biscuit. We'd love for you to join us. We've put it just over to our left. So if you walk over there, 
You've got a scotch finger biscuit and some peppermint spearmint tea. We would love for you to join us. So it'll be interesting if anything is mapped on Ghost 2 SLS. Basically it's detecting the depth of that area and then using augmented reality software to map out human shaped figures. As you saw us mapped kind of earlier. And it's a lot more accurate with the LiDAR than the dual lenses because it's actually emitting the lasers. The dual camera lenses is still, it still works. It still mm. detects depth. And there's other ways to kind of scan for bodies in the environment without detecting the depth as well. But just with LiDAR and the multiple cameras, it's like the best you can get really, right? I think the way we've positioned the camera, you should be able to see some of the laser beams on the you wall here, I think. You might be able to see it. That little dot. Kind of looks like it's pulsing, but I don't know if that's my frame rate or... Yeah, I think that's the frame rate of the camera. All right, guys, so I'm just setting up the ghost tube app on this phone. I have just hit record. Um... I might put it over with the T. What yeah, do you reckon? Yeah, why not? Yep. Yeah. Mum, are you home? Lewis. Okay, we just got the name Lewis. I can't quite remember the history of this place. I know it's was the Teakle family that lived here. Lewis, are you a Teakle? And was it you who who told me mum would make me a cup of tea last time I was here? Jared. Hmm. Can you smell it? Sing. 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 Um. Like what, like horse Yeah, like poo. Like human or animal? It could be animal, but oh, I just keep getting wafts I of it. Smell it. Can you sing a song now? Sing? Yeah. Do you want us to sing to you while we have our tea? Or what's a song that they would know? Like, you know, old... Old songs? I don't know song. that old songs. <laughs> From the 1800s. Uh, mm. Can you give me a song? I can't think of birthday? a single song. Or Disney to us. If I sing happy birthday on my birthday and I get a copyright strike for it, I'll be so upset. Happy birthday to you. You're a hundred and two. You smell like a monkey mm. and you look like one too. No, nah, that's... Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Can you not smell I'm sorry, no, but I, can't I smell can it. actually... I can't smell it. That's fresh air. I do have a bottle of brandy Priest. in my... Priest. Priest. Is this place religious in any way? I don't think so. I have a bottle of brandy in my bag. And some cigarettes. Is that preferable to you than tea? And Albert. a bit... Why is it going crazy? I'll go get some um, of that brandy. Where is it? There you go. You got your brandy. Put it in your tea. What's weird how we're getting so many words? It none is them, really weird. None of them seem relevant, but we don't normally get like that many. It was like a big burst of words. It's gone quite now. I mean, the first one, Lewis. And what it also said Albert did it at the end. If you go up and put your hand near that weird device thing, you can make it beep. The light's over there. Should I demonstrate? Yeah. If you put your hand near it like this. You can make it beep so let us know that you're here. No. I, you don't have to do it. It's okay if you don't want to. We're just showing you that it's there for you if you do want to show us that you're here. And the tea's there, the brandy's there. How old are you? Mum, are you here? Children. That's relevant. 
That would also make sense. Let's say there's children here. Who can make me a cup of tea? Mum. How old are you? I didn't bring anything for kids. There's a biscuit over there. Or a cookie. Or a cookie. <laughs> they wouldn't know what cookie is. There's a biscuit over there. So if there are any children here and you want something sweet, we've brought that here for you. What's that? For you. I heard like a... I heard like this. Movement. But like in a distance. Oh, freaks me out. I think there's animals out there. Always like freak. I don't care about animals too much. Like we did see kangaroos last time we were up here. More scared of people. Like there could be people. We're just on like a hiking trail really. If there are kids here, can you throw, throw one of these rocks or something? I don't even care if you throw the rock at me. Oh, how can you not smell that I can't smell it. Maybe it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Plausible. <laughs> Right. It's gone a bit quiet now. It has, like that spat out so many words and now it's just it's chilling. Just stopped. I do like that the mother child sort of references we've been getting there. Like some of the names are a bit random, but the mother child reference was to me interesting. Mm -hmm. Um and when you said to go touch that thing and it's like no. Like to me that was really that seemed very like a lucky. kid would say that. And like, it was responding to you. Yeah, okay. This place is getting more and more curious. Just getting some b-roll and something like moved behind us hopefully the mic will pick that up could be an animal can't say it's paranormal you know guys You reckon? Yeah. What's that? You heard that? Yeah. That was on the stones. Alright, the camera just cut because it was on the tripod and I like dropped it. So, no, honestly, like I can't see a bloody thing. All I heard in this room, it sounded like movement like on the stones. Obviously, there's no one in here. Can you make another movement for us? The next experiment that I want to do, again, we're using Ghost 2 SLS and kind of just filming this little shrine I've got set up here. So we've got a REM pod and a cat ball, which will light up flashy colors if, you know, things move them or go near them. And then we're leaving the brandy and the tea out. And yeah, if, you know, we get anything of interest, it should map it on the Ghost 2 SLS app. Jared and I are going to go into another room. So we're almost leaving that room there empty and alone so the spirits can like have the stuff that we've bought for them whether it's you know the biscuit the brandy the tea maybe we're like not in this space freaking them out but we are gonna sit here oh i'll see you can stand jared or whatever you want um this i believe maybe is like an old fireplace so are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. That scared me. What happened? Oh, 
my knee, my knee just went, a rock just went into my knee. <laughs> right, so we've just moved up positions. Uh, so Jared can sit down. I've got the K2 meter right in front of me, so keep an eye on that. Hopefully it fluctuates. Now, I think that I'm sitting in a fireplace, I don't really know. <laughs> but if there are any spirits or there's anybody here in this house, we've come tonight, bought you some offerings, go towards them, they're left in the other room for you. But if you specifically want to talk to me, whether there's somebody's mother here, there's any children, Lewis, if there's someone from the Teakle family, I'm gonna put a device on now that might help you to talk to me. I would really, really love to talk to anyone that's still in this house. If there's someone here, can you give me a sign right now? I'm here? Here? Yeah, I'm here. Thank you so much. Are you able to tell me your name? Who Who is here? Is the tea drinker in this house? I am hearing a lot, but it could be like radio inter interference. Can you tell me what kind of tea I bought tonight? I'm just gonna change things up. I'm gonna change frequency and see if we get anything else in another band. All right, someone told me that they're here. I'd love to know the name of that someone. Is it Lewis or somebody else? How old are you? Can you go towards this green light for me? I'd love to talk to the children here, if there are any. Jared and I aren't here to hurt you. Is mum here? I want to talk to mum. Oh, oh, it's getting a wee bit chilly now and we're in the middle of summer. Yeah. Aussie <laughs> what the f***? Yeah. Uh, anywho, so tonight's been pretty interesting and I feel like we've gotten slowly starting to chip away at this location. Like it really feels like a family home. And you know, yeah. last time we were here, we got the mum response we to do with the, the cup of tea. And then like, I don't know, weirdly it just, you know, when ghost tubes had children, mm. like yeah, that makes yeah. sense to me because like if, I'm asking like who's gonna make me a cup of tea and the kid a kid's not gonna do it. It's gonna yeah. be like mum's gonna do it. And I feel like I feel like yeah, I don't get spooky vibes here. Like I feel like this place feels inviting, like someone's home or yeah. like it, it doesn't feel like scary or anything like that. Yeah. It feels like calm and inviting. The scariest thing I think here is the surroundings because it is on like a hiking trail so there's not so much around and I'm not too scared of animals but like any old person could like just walk past you or whatever but yeah it feels like inviting warm family home like come and have a cup of tea with me kind of kind of thing cup of tea also like these mugs that we've got 
These are from my friends. Adelaide's Haunted Horizons. I feel like a bloody walking commercial for them, especially tonight because they also gave me this beanie. See their logo on it? But this beanie has a light on it. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's like the sickest bloody hat that's pretty cool I've merch. ever been given by anyone. It's the best. So I've been using it tonight to like look through all my equipment and stuff. <laughs> But yeah, I hope that you guys like the new feature with Ghost 2 Best List. We're going to be experimenting with it more and there's we're also like at the very early beginnings of integrating it. So it may change and evolve as we go and we'd love feedback. So if you have a phone that has LiDAR capability enabled, download it, test, us, test it, leave us feedback, let us know. Yep. Also, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier or if you did, but LiDAR can see in the dark. Yeah, yeah, it can. Because it uses the infrared light yeah, beam. Because it's using the, the lasers, it can see like shapes in the dark, so even if you don't have a flash on. But we still recommend using a flash or having the light a light source just to make it more accurate. Yeah, it helps with accuracy. But yeah, it also like the filter that you send us using with the depth, that's mm -hmm. like not even camera. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> no, using purely that's the using laser readings. The la yeah, the depth. From the, which the is lasers. why it's like blotchy it's like not a camera image it's yeah it's a depth map from the the light art sensor and i think it's so cool yeah. and a lot of you guys mentioned like you love our tech on amy's script <laughs> yeah so so the um the light art sensor should be available on iphone x or later so iphone x iphone 11 iphone 12 pro pro max on some devices though the light is only on one of the cameras front or rear facing not both but on others, it's on both. So if you download it and you can only use it on the front facing camera mm. and you can't swap it to the rear, it's because you only have one LiDAR sensor. Because LiDAR was initially used for, you know when you unlock your phone with your face, mm. it actually is shooting those little light beams all over your face to get the depth of it and that's what it uses, yeah, it right? Like maps that your technology. face. Yeah, but now we're using it to look for ghosts. But yeah, tonight has been fun. I hope that you guys had fun as well. Also remember, it's my birthday. If you want to get me a gift, I'm asking people to donate to a mental health charity of your choice. If you're unable to do that because of financial reasons, that's totally fine. Just leave a really positive comment on whether it's you know my YouTube channel, uh, this video or anyone else's video or social media, Facebook, Instagram. Give wherever. her a share as well. Go to your Facebook and share this video. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Thanks, Jared. <laughs> but no, I think it's like just nice to like spread a bit of positivity because we really like it's hard to see people going through a tough time sometimes. So, yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. If you want to do more reading about any of the haunted places I've visited from all around the world, head to my website, amyscrypt.com. You guys can also follow me. I'm on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok at Amy's Crypt. And I also post bonus content on my Patreon and my YouTube memberships, which are always linked below. But thank you so much for watching Crypt Keepers. Until next time. See ya. Bye. You alright? I just have a thing. <laughs>